When you meditate, it's medicine for the mind. We go through the day with all sorts of wounds from outside and wounds from inside. Wounds from outside, of course, are the things that happen in the world that we don't like. The worst wounds that would come from outside, though, would be if people get us to do things that are against the precepts, that's really wounding us. Here, at least, we don't have that. Or when people try to give rise to our greed, aversion, and delusion. That's what a lot of what the mass media is. A way of stoking your fires of greed, aversion, and delusion. And they can harm you. And of course, your own greed, aversion, and delusion, when they come out, are all too happy to be influenced by things like that outside. So you've got wounds coming from the outside, wounds from the inside. It's like you're being burned all the time. And as with any burn, you need a good cream to put on the burn. And then you need to leave the cream there. In other words, the medicine of the meditation and the medicine of the practice as a whole. It's not like a shot where you just stick a needle in, take the shot, and that's supposed to do everything for you. It's like a cream that you put on your skin for a burn. You put it there and then you leave it there. In other words, you try to be aware of your breath as you breathe in and breathe out sitting here. And then you try to maintain at least some sense of the breath energy in your body as you go through the day. And that can soothe the mind and remind you that there are all sorts of good things that are related to the breath. It's one of the ways of reminding yourself it's a good memory aid. When you've been trying to be ardent, alert, mindful while you're sitting here meditating, and then as you are in touch with the breath as you go through the day. That's a reminder. Try to be ardent, try to be alert, try to be mindful. Think of what the Buddha said about greed, aversion, and delusion, how they're not really your friends. So when they come flaring up, either from outside or inside, you say, no, I'm not going to go touch that fire. I'm not going to stoke that fire. And that's whatever burns you still have from the old fires that you've been taking on. You keep meditating, meditating, and gradually the, the wounds heal. So try to take this medicine and keep on taking this medicine. Rub it on and then leave it there. Now where, wherever you go, you're protected. You'll notice this as you leave the monastery. You've been here, you haven't been bombarded by advertisements, appeals to buy this, get that, do this, do that. As soon as you go out into the world, that's what you have all around you. Signs beckoning your greed, beckoning your aversion, and beckoning your delusion. And you have to be resistant to their appeal. Look at the world the way an anthropologist from Mars would look at it. And he's strange human beings and their strange customs. And that little bit of distance can help you an awful lot. So you don't keep on sticking your finger into the fire. And you can heal the wounds from old fires that have been burning you in the past. That way you're protected all around.